great. I am comfortable with the conducive learning environment here in Fortune Schools. Now, tell me about Fortune Schools. Fortune Schools comprise Kretsch, nursery primary and secondary classes. We have the Center for International General Certificate of Secondary Examination, that's the IGCSE. Yes, we also have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. Not only that, Fortune Schools have spacious and well ventilated classroom blocks with up to date library facilities and constant water and power supply. Also, in Fortune Schools, we have God fearing, motivated, and qualified teachers. In Fortune Schools, our school buses are always on ground to pick and drop us on time. We also have standard and state of the art ICT equipment. In addition to that, in Fortune Schools, high level of discipline is maintained and we also enjoy co curricular activities. Activities in the school. In Fortune Schools, we are also know for zero tolerance in exam and practice. Fortune models good and responsible citizen for the world. Yes, the spirit of teamwork is equally embedded in students, pupils, and staff. Admission is ongoing. Please visit the school compound at number 16 Udosoro Street, if you have for Uyo, Kwebom State. We are Fortune Schools! Fortune Schools, excellence through hard work. On Saturday, 17th October 2020, what bridge hotels and suites will you stood ready to host eminent engineers across the country and guests from all walks of life as the Nigerian Society of Engineers Uyo branch held the investiture of the 15th chairman of the organization and the inauguration of the 2020-2021 executive committee. The event started in earnest with the observation of the national anthem as the outgoing chairman of the branch, engineer James Amiang, stepped out to welcome the national president, engineer Engineer Babangana Mohammed and all guests to the occasion. Our guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege to be invited to this occasion and uh, I use this opportunity to welcome every one of us as we attend, hoping that at the end of this event, we have a lot to gain as Nigerian engineers. And we will go home more satisfied and fulfilled that a day like this was set aside for this event. Once again, on behalf of myself and my family, I seize this opportunity to welcome all of you, most especially the President, Nigerian Society of Engineers, and members of the United States. Declaring the event open, National President Engineer Baba Gena Mohammed, who doubled as the chairman of the occasion, expressed joy on the emergence of Engineer Okemokwa as the new chairman. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today's event being the innovation of my own brother, Engineer Okemokwa. Opo, as the new 15th chairman of NSC Uyo branch, it's very crucial to me. NSC Uyo branch has been distinguished in diverse ways. I wish to acknowledge the commitment and contribution of your branch, particularly to the success of certain new branches within this zone, which has further increased our numerical strength. I am truly grateful for all you, to all of you, for your commitment to the affairs of NSC. Your branch has over the years produced focused leadership going by trend. I have no doubt your choice of my brother Apo, has been predicated on his track record of commitment to duty. Furthermore, NAC Leo branch has been noted for excellence in performance in the good dynamics of our branch. But in the present part, you are nowhere. He urged the branch members to rally around the senior engineers in the branch for capacity building and progress. 
I hear by Commander the new chairman, and the entire executive committee, and wish them a fruitful deliberation. God bless you all. Can we give you a big round of applause, please? Thank you. So Charles Nko, in his keynote address at the occasion, called on the state's government to revamp the early industries as a boom in the early 80s and 90s ranked the best in industrialization. In the 80s, it's a president, sir. Aquaibum was rated as serving the best industrial infrastructure in Nigeria. Uh, this was stated by Dr. Maybon, and actually the facts he gave were very correct. There were 15 industries in this state, and this included the new spring factory at Okwiboku, a million plant at Ikorobasi, a steel plant at Enket, a space plant at Oron, biscuit factory at Ikorobasi, palm oil processor at Abak, battery factory at Ikorobasi, ceramics at Itam, paints at Itinan, Bobiyar at the Korobasi, Fishing Terminal in Ubo, Breweries, Chapter Breweries in Ubo, Pastor Farm in Ubo, Robert Processing in Itam, Dr. Pepe, Soft Drink, and the State Chairman, as a plan, one of those industries, except one or so, can be taken from that Chapter Breweries. All others are either completely closed down or are a very bad shape. So we were a very productive state in the 80s and 90s, but somehow something went wrong. In terms of production again, we are talking about oil palm. In 1964, Malaysia produced 151,000 metric tons. The erudite professor and former deputy vice chancellor, University of Uyo, said Akwaibom State in post COVID 19 era should look into engineering education with state of the art learning environment for youth, placement of more emphasis on ICT, and the total overhauling of technical education in the state. Where does Akwaibom go from here? in post-COVID-19 era. Emphasis will be placed on ICT-based education as there is no engineering specialty that can go for without serious ICT inputs. Technical education must be completely overhauled. What is going on now is a mockery of technical education. How can you have 5,000 students in a technical college, a school that was spent for about 400 students, and you pretend that you are doing well? Yes, how can you put them in workshops, 5,000 human beings? They should just close down that thing. Correct me a story some years back, when I was in council. And they came up with a combination to states about technical education. Since everybody wants their children to go to secondary school, that's why they in technical colleges, they want to do physics, chemistry, biology just like an ordinary secondary school. And very little of this thing called technical education. One option was to say, when people finish school set, build a technical school for them to go and acquire skills and give them city and grace out of those schools. And we have those good craftsmen that we had before. And what we are doing now, we are just working ourselves. Our curriculum is we looked at workshop practice and laboratory work was given greater emphasis. Because if we are to manufacture things with computing advantage, we must know how to use modern machines as against those old leg machines that we use since independence. A copy engineering center should be set up. High points of the event witnessed the investiture of Engineer Kemelkwa as the 15th chairman of the branch and the inauguration of the 2020-2021 Exco. For many events of you, which is a deal. He's also the CEO of Opulence 5 Contractors Limited, a construction and consulting firm 
Best in your Akwai Mom State. He is the country representative of Kenzai Ceramics Industries Company Limited of Thailand and the sole distribution of the product in Nigeria. Just recently, he was appointed into the board of Akwai Mom State Procurement Council as a council member. A former publicity secretary of the society and has also saved or currently saving as if one in time before his inauguration as the vice chairman of the Nigerian Society of Engineers Uyo branch. Ingen Akpob has proven himself seated with the position of the chairman of the NS Uyo branch. This is a clear case of opportunity meeting preparation and with him at the end of our phase of the NSC, the 14th of the organization is projected to be better off. An astute and God-fearing gentleman who has exalted, excelled in whatever responsibility he is, on, is given. If you not know, has come in battle ready to lead the society. Having recently been appointed into the board of the Aquarius State Procurement Council, it looks well placed to harmonize the impending synergy between the state government and the Nigerian Society of Engineers through his role as a board member and also as chairman of the NSC. I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> the Quebec State Government is firm for its collaboration with professional bodies. It is in this drive. It is drive to industrialize a Quebec. The position of the NSC is to take advantage of the current trend of things and ensure that we, as a professional body, have the best in terms of synergy and recognition with the Aquino State Government. It is a new dawn in the Nigerian Society of Engineers. As the newly elected executive committee members, led by the trusted and trusted team player, Engineer Kweko, are all out to take the society to a greater height. Ladies and gentlemen, that was an abridged version of the soon to be inaugurated chairman of the NSC, the young branch, please. Let's give him a big round of applause as I invite Engineer James Amiam, the chairman of the NSC, who is about to inaugurate the new chairman. So please step forward to the microphone. Uh, before I do the inauguration, I just want to make a remark here. It is indeed a pleasure that I'm here today to inaugurate a very good friend and a brother who served under me as a vice chairman in the last financial year of the Nigerian Society of Engineers and he served dutifully in the sense that it is not a surprise that he is heading the branch today. So I'm very grateful to God for giving me the opportunity to be here today to inaugurate him, believing that Beyond today till the end of his tenure, like I have always said, he will go steps ahead from where we stopped. And wishing that God will give him the might and strength to lead the society to enviable heights. So it is now my pleasure to inaugurate Engineer Ukeme Oko the Chairman of the Nigerian Society of Engineers in your branch. Mr. President and Chairman of Council of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, with your permission today, may I now inaugurate the branch chairman of you of the Nigerian Society of Engineers in your branch. I, I, Engineer Ukeme Oppo, do solemnly swear that as Chairman of the Nigerian Society of you Engineers, as the chairman of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, we your branch, we your branch, shall uphold the provisions of the memorandum and articles of association. Shall uphold the memorandum of the articles of the association of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. That I shall defend. That I shall defend the interest of the society at all times. The interest of the society at all times in accordance with the aims and objectives in accordance with the aim and objectives of the Nigerian Society of Engineers of the Nigerian Society of Engineers so help me God so help me God
In his acceptance speech, the branch chairman, Engineer Okemekwa, thanked his predecessor, Engineer James Amyang, Engineer Eti Duinyam, the member representing Itu State Constituency, Engineer Okufra Basiridem, the Chief Executive Officer of Josie Ventures, Mr. Josiah Ewang, for their mentorship and contributions to his emergence. He reinstated his commitment to consolidate on three major agenda in his administration. I feel honored to stand before you today as the chairman of the Nigerian Society of Engineers to your branch. I return glory to the Almighty God for making today a success. Permit me to use this opportunity to specifically appreciate members of the Nigerian Society of Engineers to your branch for finding me worthy and capable to lead this branch. I will forever remain grateful. I must admit that I am thrilled by the presence of my mentors, colleagues, friends, and family for coming to witness this inauguration and to celebrate with us. To mark the formal opening of the new era, this ceremony provides an ample opportunity for a meaningful reflection of the past, highlighting our present and visualizing the brighter future that we hope to build together. As clearly stated during my campaign, we will consolidate on three major agendas. First, the welfare of members. The Nigerian Society of Engineers is the only... The Secretarial Complex will be the main venue for hosting of guests, seminars, workshops, and conferences. This is the mother branch for all other branches in Aquarium State. Therefore, we must set the pace for others to emulate. Moving forward, we will, we will bend the course curve in collaboration with stakeholders for admission to build a community that is modern for prosperity to be sustained. We are the authors of the next chapter in NSC, with your branch history. Thank you and God bless. On today's occasion, distinguished members of the high table, we jump straight to the next item on the program, item number nine. Time for inauguration of the new executive members by the new, newly inaugurated chairman of the NSC, your branch. I want to, at this point, invite the executive members of the NSC, as I call up their name to you, Please step forward one after the other. The vice chairman, incoming vice chairman, engineer Owen Ackman, please. Thank you. Let's give him a big round of applause as he steps forward. And also let's invite the incoming general secretary, engineer Ike Mr. Owen, to please also join as well. But invite the assistant secretary general. Engineer Obra Obong Akban, please. I invite to join at this point in time Engineer Emin Exigel, who will serve as the treasurer of this executive. The financial secretary in this new exco, Engineer Victor Oko, please also join as well. Thank you very much. We're inviting Engineer Hart Eteo, the technical secretary, to please. Also join as we look forward to inaugurate them. We also invite Engineer Anette Basi, Assistant Technical Secretary, please also join as well. Engineer Dr. Ukon Opo, the Publicity Secretary, please join as well. Engineer Sika Akban, Assistant Publicity Secretary and Welfare Officer. We invite also Engineer James Amian, immediate past chairman and ex official one of the new executive council, please join as well. And we also invite Engineer Imi Ubori, ex official two, to also join as well. Thank you very much. Mr. Rich, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to invite 
the newly inaugurated chairman of the NSC, Uyo Branch, so please proceed for the inauguration of the other executive members. Mr. President, Chairman in Council, with due respect to the national officers here present, special guests and others. Please, as the executive committee yes. of the branch, you read after me and put your name where applicable in your office. So you repeat after me. I do solemnly swear that as of the Nigeria Society of Engineers, your branch, your branch, I shall uphold. I shall uphold the provision of the memorandum and article of association. The provision of the memorandum and article of association of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. That I shall defend. That I shall defend the interests of the society. The interests of the society at all times. At all times. In the in accordance in accordance with the aims and objectives. In accordance with the ends and objectives of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. So help me God. So help me God. Furthermore, a word of excellence was presented to the outgoing Executive Council. I ask to please request that Mr. President come for the presentation of the award, should present this award to the outgoing Executive Members. I'd love to call them in no particular order to please file out Engineer James Amiang, Chairman, Engineer Kebe Okpo, Vice Chairman, Engineer Defrek Ebasi, Secretary, Engineer Victor Okun, Assistant Secretary, Engineer Kemes of Oro, Treasurer, Engineer Mbezigel, Financial Secretary, Engineer Wim Akwan, Technical Secretary, Engineer Hart Etewo, Assistant Technical Secretary, Engineer Katale Aja, Publicity Secretary, Engineer Priscilla Kalek, Assistant Publicity Secretary, Stroke Welfare Officer, Engineer Dr. Ubon Okomi, Ex Official 2, Engineer Chief Benjamin Ekane, Fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, ex Officer One. Thank you very much, please. Can we have all the names of called line up here for the presentation of the award? The events came to an end with goodwill messages. I really am here on three capacities. One, representing the special guest of honor, who is my boss, the Commissioner for Works and Fire Service. Uh, representing the, the, special, uh, the guest of honor, the Commissioner for Works and Fire Service. Professor Enoi Ibanga. Then the second, the second capacity, I'm representing the head of service of Akwaibo State, Elder Efion Essien. Then my humble self as a member of the society. I think I have I have an address here by the commissioner who is the special or the guest of honor. So I will just go straight and read the message. A message of felicitation on the occasion of the investiture of Engineer Okeme Oko, MNSC, as the 15th chairman of the Uyo branch of NSC, an inauguration of the 2020-2021 Executive Committee. On behalf of the management and staff of the Aquarium State Minister of Works and Fire Service, I hereby most sincerely felicitate with you and the Executive Committee on this occasion of your well-deserved investiture as the 15th Chairman of Uyo Branch of Nigerian Society of Engineers. For tonight, I want to thank every one of you for coming. I want to thank uh, Engineer Amyan, the outgoing chairman, and of course the incoming chairman as well.
for their combination of efforts to make sure today is a reality. The Nigerian Society of Engineers, Calabar Branch and Uyo Branch, has been in a very long partnership. And this partnership we are prepared and committed to foster even with the newly inaugurated ESCO. We shall give you all the support that is required to take this branch to the new paradise that is expected to be. The Cradle TV crew had one-on-one -on -one interview with personalities at the event. I'm so excited today about uh, the program of today and you know coming for being the 15th NEC chairman of your branch. We want to appreciate them for giving us the platform to sell our product and we want to wish them well, especially the incoming ESCO, even the outgoing ESCO. The induction is like giving us the function in function in a skyrocketing dimension. I need to say that having this portfolio as the assistant secretary of the branch, I am the number one company. One to work with the chairman and all the other ESCO members to move in the garden to the next level. It is a beautiful thing to do because we are at this point in time taking engineering to where engineering deserves to be. And with this kind of privilege that we have been given to serve, we promise to deliver our due diligence so as to see the engineers being better above all other professions in the field of things.